Okay, so we have question 8, where we have a circle is divided into five sectors with equal angles at the center. Alright, so the equal angles basically is going to tell you that you've got equal probability. Uh, it is made into a spinner and the sectors are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. A coin is tossed and the spinner is spun. Use a two-dimensional grid to show the sample space. Alright, so we have got our 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we have got a heads or a tails. So that would be our two-dimensional space and basically all our possibilities we can get a heads and a 1, a heads and a 2, a heads and a 3, a heads and a 4, heads and 5 and a tails and a 1, a tails, 2, tails, 3, tails, 4 and tails, 5. That would be our two-dimensional sample space. What is the chance of getting a head and a 5? We're looking at this one over here, a head and a 5. Well there's a total there's a total probability, uh, the total number of choices of 10, there's 10 different choices, so the probability of getting a head and a 5 would equal 1 out of 10. Uh, and B, what is the chance of getting a, sorry B, this is actually B1, uh, what is the chance of getting a head or a 5? So here we've got um, this all of these are heads. All right, each one of those. So there's six possibilities that to give a head, and we've got that. Um, we've also got the five there, but that's already covered in this one over here, so we won't count. So there's actually six, uh, six possibilities. So the probability of getting a head or a five uh, would be six out of ten, or three out of five like that. Alright, so that was pretty straightforward. Going on to the going on to the next one. We've got a bag contains a bag contains three white and two red marbles and this is bag X and bag Y contains one white and three red mar marbles. A bag is randomly chosen, so that's your first event. First event would be the choosing of the bag and then two marbles are drawn from it. So there will be a further two events. So we're actually going to have, in this we're going to have three events. So in drawing up our our tree diagram. Um, we're going to need to draw a tree diagram and determine the probability of drawing two marbles of the same color. So the first event is drawing which bag we've got. So we've got this. Uh, we're going to get either X or Y and that is half and half because uh, it's just chosen randomly. Um, our second event, uh, we then choose our first no marble. Now uh, in in looking at this in 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 looking at this uh, in bag X we've got three white and two red so there's a total of five so we got um, we've got red and white so we've got it's going to be two out of five for the red and 3 out of 5 for the white uh, and then if we continue with the second one um, there's no replacement here so we've got the two are drawn from it so we've got uh, the next the next one for our third event over here we're gonna have something like this uh, in this case over here we've drawn a red so there's only one red left so it'll be 1 out of 4 uh, and this would be 3 out of 4 because there are still 3 white left and here when the white is drawn out we've got 2 out of 4 for the red and it's going to be 2 out of 4 for the white so that will be uh, the probabilities for um, looking at X bag X now we're going to do the same thing for bag Y um, 
in bag Y contains one white and three red marbles. So to draw, there's a total of four marbles, so three out of four and one out of four. Um, and here we go again, this is red, white. Here we've drawn a red, so there's only two left, so it's two out of three, because one out and one out of three. Um, here, you can only draw a red because the white has been drawn out so there's there's that's gone so there's only uh, there's only three um, reds left so this is the probability of one to draw a red from that so there's our tree diagram now we are looking uh, for drawing two marbles of the same color so we need to look at our probabilities of doing that so that would be this one over here so it would be this going going here would go there there and there that would be one so that that route over there would be a half uh, times two over five times one quarter that's only one there and then we could have there again there and there that would give me um, two whites in in that direction so we would have the same color two whites so that would be a half times three over five times two over a quarter my computer seems to be slowing down terribly all right so there we've got two whites uh, if we go for the y we could do there and then we could do there and there so i would have a half times three quarters times two thirds that would be it um, that won't work and then finally here there's nothing here because this will give me a white and a red that will never work so it's actually these three so this is going to be my two can cancel that two so I'm gonna get one one over five so I'm gonna get one over twenty there uh, here I'm going to get um, my two will cancel that two again I'm going to get three out of twenty there and here my two will cancel that two there and I'm going to get um, sorry that will give me four three over twelve so my total probability for this of drawing out two same color uh, would just be the addition of these things one over twenty plus uh, three over twenty you just have to check my working here because I can well made a mistake somewhere along the line but just have a look at it uh, plus 12 and then you would just add these up uh, you can just put those into your calculator uh, and add those up that would probably be the easiest way to go from there okay I hope that makes sense if you need any help with this please come and please come and see me